months in, you know, he, he turned the eye and put him in a position and he went to the upper guy. He never, he did not come back with the right, the right hand. If he came back with both of them, he would not get the guy out earlier. The footwork is good. Footwork is good. That. The power didn't seem to be where it was last no. night. No. Right. So, but, uh, but that, that, that's my job. I, we we right. got to work on that every day. One other thing before uh, off this fight. Mungia, how's he doing? He's doing great. He's a very good student, and uh, he trains his ass off every day. He's doing very well. Is, uh, Oscar's really bragging about the fact that he's going to beat, gonna beat him. He is. Okay. <laughs> I, I love that fight. <laughs> How exactly do you see it playing out? Do you see Munguia actually getting the stoppage against Canelo? Yes, I do. And nobody's ever hurt him, nobody's ever dropped him. No, no, he's him. been hurt before. Maybe once against Miguel Oh, Oh, come before. on, now it's only once. I'm just saying. <laughs> come on. In, in terms of the actual fight, is, is Munguia the most difficult style for Canelo as opposed to like a David Benavides? Mm. Maybe not the most, but I know his style will get in trouble, and uh, uh, we look forward to fighting the fight. Fight. We signed the contract one day out, and that's how bad we won that fight. Is Canelo, in your view, is he the same guy he always was, or has he? Uh, I think he's taking a little bit, but um, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> Going on, on Devin Haney, um, he had a fight coming up with Ryan Garcia. Uh, uh, Devin Haney, the appointment is coming to my gym to work out uh, three days a week, and he shows up every day, and his opponent has not shown up yet. Any thoughts on like the whole kind of some of the rants that are Ryan Garcia? You, know, you, you tell me you come to my gym to work out and you don't show up. Well, what am I supposed to think about that? Did he say that to you on several occasions that he planned on showing up but he never did? No, he just doesn't show up. He doesn't need to talk to me. Freddie, what did you think of Collins' performance tonight? He looked okay, but we need to. We, we, we need to work, work a lot more on the counter punching and combinations. He was planting his feet and landing the right hook really well in this fight uh, compared to the last fight where he struggled a little bit. He faced some adversity, but he came out with the victory. And again, yeah. another victory tonight. Yeah, the right hook that we're, we're, we're having no problem with. And, and it's the left one that we, we need to improve. And uh, we know that. And... Uh, uh, I saw it tonight, so it's Monday, that's back to work. Absolutely. Now, you have a lot of history when it comes to New York. You uh, had Paulie Monaggi Amir Khan here, Cotto Martinez, and GSB as well when he came out here in retirement fight. Out of all those memories here at the Garden in New York, which was your favorite? Uh, they're all good guys. You know, they're just hard workers, and, uh, you know, uh, I, 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 I love all champions, you know. Like, if I can get a world champion, uh, I mean, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You know? Speaking of such, did you surpass Eddie Fudge when it comes to world champions yet? Yeah. You did. Yeah. <laughs> How's that feel? Uh, Eddie's, but, you know, Eddie's taught me everything I know. Absolutely. So you know, he had 22 world champions and I have 42. Oh, so you like uh, But he taught me very well. He's a great guy. So, uh, I wish he was still here. Everybody good? What are your thoughts on him? How do you think he's going to fare? I don't know. I haven't. what were you telling? I don't like his style. What were you telling Caleb Austin is during the fight? Uh, he needed to throw more combinations and be a lot busier. All right. What are your thoughts on the Tyson fight, uh, Jake Paul? I mean, do you have any say on that? You know, I used to train Tyson. I like Mike a lot. And he does come by my gym once in a while to say, to say hello and visit and stuff. And uh, then uh, all of a sudden this fight's coming up. And, uh, you know, it's a, uh, a younger, sort of, maybe stronger man. But, no, I can't say sorry because Tyson's very really strong. Uh, but the last two fights I, I trained Tyson with, uh, he didn't do really that well at. 
and um, it was. Uh, I, 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 I hope he does well because I, I do like him a lot. And he's a good friend of mine. You gave him the right hand, right? You taught him how to throw the right hand, if that's correct. Yes. Very well. Yeah, that was uh, that was a long process, but uh, that was well, when you get someone like him, a, a hard-headed guy, maybe he's got to go. Learn the, the right hand, and he's used to throwing the hook. It, it, it worked out well. Good. But, and Mike, uh, you know, like I said, he stops by the gym once in a while. He, you know what he wants to do? He wants to look at the pictures. Uh, he loves pictures. Oh, really? and I have a lot of pictures on my walls. In your gym, that. yes. And he loves that shit. Oh, okay. He does. He tells me what every picture means or meant in, in, in that time and who's in in it. I mean, he's really, he's a very intelligent person. He, he knows His history. a lot of history. He yes, absolutely. Guys, I'm going to take him away, but Callum will be down shortly after he gets cleared by this.